What's up guys, Event Array. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick desk overview setup, but basically just show you guys what my working station looked like. Um, these guys videos do really well. I found myself getting stuck in the loop of watching them for days on end. So I wanna show you guys what my working station looks like. This is gonna be for my professional job where I also have a setup for that and gonna be a mix of what I do for you guys as far as editing and my YouTube channel and stuff like that. So with that said, let's get into it. All right, thank you for joining me. So starting on the left, I just have a wall stand right here for this controller. Right here, this is gonna be this Switch controller because I've been playing Switch lately, but I usually switch it out for whatever I'm playing. So if I'm playing Xbox, um, I'll use my Xbox controller. If I'm playing PlayStation, I'll switch it out with my PlayStation. Just to take you real quickly over here, this is what I have up in my room. I have my PS4 right here. It's a little dusty. I only use it for the exclusives, really. I mean Xbox. I have this really cool um, Joy-Con selector right here where it has a keyboard built in. I've been playing a lot of Rocket League for the Switch, so that's real useful. This is just the default regular PS4 over here. Right here, I have my Xbox One S. It's a little too wide for my entertainment stand right here, but um, I still put it in there. Um, I have my charging dock right here. This right here is made for PS... Um, it's made for one Xbox. It's made for two Xbox controllers, but it doesn't charge my PS4 controller, but I just keep it in there. And of course, I have my Switch over here also. So this is basically my gaming room whenever I'm not working or editing stuff. So if we take it over here, just going from left to right, I have my Thor in-game, Bobblehead Pop Funko. These speakers, I haven't done a review on them yet. These are the Creative Pebble version two versions. They have Bluetooth, they use USB type C, and they sound amazing. I will do a separate video for that for you guys. I have my little vault tech bobblehead, some greenery. Um, this right here, it's, it's a neon light. The batteries are really low. Um, and I just haven't replaced them yet. So you probably won't see it, but it lights up and it looks like a neon light. I have this All Might. It's not like a pop funk. After the light, next up we'll have this All Might Mini right here. He's not like, he's not pop funk or anything like that. It's just something that my girlfriend got for me. He used to have like a bottle of the goo and the bag that he had from the first episode, um, but I lost them. This right here is my Stormtrooper Lego head that I'm working on still. I lost literally one piece and I can't find it. So I messaged Lego about it and they said they could take up to 10 days for them to send me a reply. So I basically cannot continue with this without that one little piece. Um, it was definitely more fun than I thought it would be. I'm glad I got it. Um, then I have this little, this little pin holder right here. I really like the vibe that it gets off. It's nice matte black and it's very clean. I have a wireless charger stand. It's gonna be from Utech. Um, they're nothing fancy like Mophie or anything like that, but I like how it stands my phone up so I can have my phone basically just standing there um, while it charges. Um, I have my AirPods. One thing about having the standing wireless charger is it doesn't charge any of my wireless charging device. It won't even charge my Buds Lives either. Um, but I store them here just in case I need earphones quickly. This is gonna be the base station for the Pebble version three. Um, you can control the volume like that. And this right here is the Bluetooth version um, button. It's very seamless. You can press it and it'll switch from my computer to my phone instantly. This is gonna be my, um, I forget the brand. Basically it's gonna be my monitor stand if I zoom out a little bit. Like I said, these are gonna be, these monitors right here, these are gonna be my two work monitors. I don't use them very often with my Logitech webcam. This is gonna be my main um, one. It's going to be a, a Scepter HDMI, 144 Hertz. I use it for a little bit of gaming, not as much as I'd like, but mostly a console player. And then these are gonna be my Dell monitors right here. I don't know the specs on them. They were provided to me by work but I needed more desk space on the bottom. So I got this monitor stand. It does take up a little bit of um, real estate up here, but it still frees up more down the desk, if that makes sense. I wanted one that would have latched onto the back, but the cheapest one I could find was $99 for that. And this one was only 30 and it handled all three of my monitors. They are also adjustable. You see it can come up. I don't want to touch it too hard. It's hard to do with one hand, but it also bends forward. 
So I don't know if you could tell, it can come in and it does come out. The middle one doesn't adjust too much, but this one, as you, but this one, as you can see, it has a joint right here. It bends in, it comes in, and you can bend it also and loosen it and tighten it however you want. Next up, I'm going to have this. It's just a little Morrow box. I got it at GameStop. It lights up. You can't see it well in this light. Then just this motivational portrait that I found that I really like. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. And that's just a little bit of motivation for me. This cool Edison light lamp right here that I got off of Amazon. Um, this is just gonna be Leviosa, my favorite D&D &D mini. I painted her myself. And I just like her there whenever we're not using her for anything. I just keep her on the desk. Then I have this giant dragon Bahamut mini. I got this for Christmas. And I think it's really cool. I also have a cup holder right here. It's just whenever I need some more real estate, I put it on here and I keep it out of the way. I have some headsets hanging up. These are gonna be the Turtle Beach Razors. They're really good. This, these are gonna be the Stealth 700s. They are what I use for gaming. I have a little hook here to keep everything safe. Then I also have some Beats Solo Wireless. They're gonna be an older model, as you can tell by the wear on here. My gaming PC, it's gonna be um, Cyber Power, I believe. It comes. It has an SSD, hard drive, deep cool technology, stuff like that. And you can also change the colors and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. I have a mouse pad desk right here for my wrist. I have a typing one right here. These both came together. If you've seen my left-handed video, this is gonna be my left-handed mouse. And then I have this global map right here. It looks pretty cool. I'll move my keyboard for you. And it's just black and white. I really like the vibe of that. I don't like this red line down the middle of this, so I usually try to hide it as best I can. Um, this is gonna be my keyboard. It also came with my, my PC when I got it, my gaming PC. So did this mouse. So whenever I'm working, I'm usually using this hand with my right and then operating my other computer with my left. I also have some simple white stick-it notes because I didn't really like the neon pink green ones. They're still the regular Post-it brand. I got them off of Amazon and they really weren't that expensive. But yeah, I'll, I also have this strong tech board right here. Basically you just stand on it and it's supposed to keep your feet from getting fatigued. So you stand on it like this. You can also have, it has a little hoop on here where you can hang it. And then you can also flip it over and you see these grips on here and you can stand on it like this and you can kind of rock back and forth, get a little exercise in and keep your feet from getting fatigued. I've only had it for a day or two, so I still don't know if it's worth the plunge. This was like $60. The one that I actually wanted was the name brand. I, I, I'm guessing it was the name brand, but it was like $90. Um, so I got this instead just to try out the technology because I had never heard of anything like this. And then as far as the desk itself, it is a standing desk. It does raise up. Um, and it was not very expensive. I think I paid like 250 for this desk and the top. The top isn't quite screwed in yet because I'm thinking about getting a different top possibly. And if you'll notice, it doesn't have any presets like some of the other fancy ones, like the uplift desk and stuff like that. And But it is automated, so you don't have to crank it or anything like that. You just have to hold it. There's no presets or anything like that. But overall, that's gonna be my desk setup. If you guys have any questions, I'm gonna link everything. I'm gonna try to link everything. Some of this stuff is pretty old. Um, what else? Oh, I also have some pops up front. We have the Super Saiyan Go On right here. We have the Majin Vegeta. Uh, I love Vegeta. I just couldn't find a Super Saiyan Blue one that I liked. A little more plant wear. We have Ultra Instinct Goku up here. We have Gogeta right there. And that's pretty much everything as far as my desk setup goes. Let me know what you guys think down below. And this is Event Ray. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.